right? I share with you guys one of my insecurities. One of my insecurities for getting, well, I have three insecurities of why I do not want to get on camera. One. Hold up. They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. One is because I have my gap, right? And I was like, oh my gosh, people are going to be worried about that. People are going to be focused on that. People are going to be talking about me. I've heard all the all the jokes. I done heard all the gap jokes, okay, honey? I done heard all the jokes, baby. But then I came to a point where I'm like, look, this is me. This is who I am. This is what I have to offer, right? And honestly, nobody talks about that other than me, okay? I bring it up. <laughs> but nobody talks about that. But that was one of my insecurities for not hopping on the cameras because I thought everybody would be focused on my teeth, right? And it's like, nobody's worried about that. Everybody's want to know, girl, what you got that can help me? That's what people want to know. What do you have that can help me? What do you have that can bring a little sun sunshine to my life? What do you have that can answer some type of question? What do you have that can make me feel good, right? And that's what you need to be focused on, not to be focused on what you look like, right? And that was another thing I used to be worried about because when um, I was really doing a fitness thing, it's, everybody could tell I used to be sk smaller, skinnier. And every time I got on camera, it's like there was that little insecurity that crept in me. And it's like, oh, my gosh, everybody's going to know that I gained weight. So I would be like, I don't want to get on camera. But then it started to be like, look, this is my real life, right? My real life is there's ups and there's downs. My real life is every, well, not everybody, but my pattern has honestly been I I slim down. I don't know why. It's a pattern with me, okay? I usually slim down October, November, December. That's just how my life is been, right? And for me to not jump on here and help you guys and, and share with you guys because of my weight, that's silly, right? Oh, and here's another reason why I didn't hop on camera. Another reason why I didn't hop on camera, you guys, was because I used to use a lot of filler words like, um, like, you know, I used to use a lot of those filler words. Now, I don't use them as much because I'm very conscious about it. Also, I took time to go to a Toastmaster. I took time to stand up in front of groups so that people can critique when I'm talking. Now, of course, people, the critique is, remains the same. You talk fast and, you know, you need to slow down so people can hear you. But did you guys just see what I just did? I just said, you know, right? So that was another reason why I didn't want to cop on camera because I didn't want people to critique my voice. I don't want to people to critique the, the way I was talking, but why would I let that stop me from selling my products? Why would I let that stop me from getting the bag, right? Get the money, get the bag. You need to get the money, get the bag too, okay? So you have to start to think. I can't be worried about what other people think, right? Because fear, money is not on the side of fear and money is not on the, on the side of scared, right? Money is not on that side. Money is on the side of getting out your comfort zone. That means putting yourself out there. Money is on the side of providing somebody with a, some type of service product that will help them, encourage them, motivate them, um, learn them, right? Teach them, provide some type of happiness in their life. So you can't be worried about what people think. Oh, they don't love you like I love you. Slow down, they don't love you like I love you.